So what's going on YouTube? My name is Ayush and welcome back to my YouTube channel The Indian Dev. So guys, in this video we're going to talk about React 17. Yes, React 17 is the like uh, latest version or we can say the latest release from React which comes with a tagline that is no new feature. Then what does it mean? Like uh, React has released a major version that is React 17 and it don't have any feature. Like uh, let's see like what's the thing behind this no new feature so i'm just going towards the react's official website that is reactjs.org and here you can see that uh, uh, like react version 17.0 no new features so like it's been a long time since the last release like it's almost two and a half years since the last major release but uh, like if we look into this version 17 release then there is nothing to nothing new for a developer like it doesn't and add any like developer facing features instead of that like react has worked on like react team has worked on making it easier to upgrade react itself so like what does it mean that making it easier to upgrade react itself so i will just talk about one major issue that we all have faced in the like in the past uh, so the thing is like if there is any new release from react team then uh, we need to upgrade our uh, whole application from one version to another version and that's a like very uh, complex stuff to do because we are having a lot of libraries inside our applications and like while uh, updating the version of react like it's it's a kind of uh, complexity there that we all have faced so for that like uh, react provides us a feature that is uh, gradual upgrades so what does it mean it is like we can have multiple react versions inside a single application so how can we do that uh, like uh, for that there is a demo uh, that has been published or we can say posted over github so let's see and check out this repository that how we can achieve that like uh, multiple uh, react versions in a same application so here you can see that this is a demo of how you can configure a build system to serve two different versions of versions of react side by side in the same application so yes let's see like i am looking into this package.json file so here in terms of dependencies there is no react version okay so let's move forward towards the like source folder so inside source you can see that uh, they have kind of having a structure where they, ha they are having some legacy code that is the old code that was running on, on some previous version so in that folder we are we are having a package.json file so here the reacts version is 16.8 that was a like old version and if i talk about the modern folder here in the package.json file they are using the latest version that is 17.0.0 rc.0 so this is how we gonna like uh, achieve this uh, gradual upgrades like uh, the code i don't want to migrate i can keep that in the legacy folder it's the just the naming convention and uh, the latest code that i'm gonna write then that code can be like placed inside this modern folder so yes this was all about the gradual upgrades so this was the first thing that react has worked on because they are like they have mentioned in this blog that uh, in the next releases there will be uh, like major change in react or maybe we can say major features um, will be reflecting in the future versions of react so yes this was uh, gradual upgrades and the second thing is changes to event delegation so what it mean is so whenever we apply any event handler on any like react element like this is on click then uh, in the previous versions like before version 17 uh, let me show you this picture so like in the previous versions like react 16 whenever i attach any like event listener to any element of our application then it's uh, like uh, it's kind of binded to the whole document that is like document dot add event listener so this was uh, like uh, been following in the previous react version but as i have discussed uh, like uh, recently that uh, in a single application we can have multiple versions of react so in that case like uh, our application can be like 
more complex in terms of event handling so for that the event handling will be will not be like uh, uh, focusing to the document it will be dependent on the root element so here you can see in the react 17 version uh, you can the uh, like the event listener will be added to the root node only so yes like it's a good thing uh, to have uh, in terms of like uh, updating as gradual updates so it was a like necessary requirement and if i move forward with the like other breaking changes so here you can see that some of the like methods on scroll on focus and on blur uh, is like kind of there is some improvement and in terms of no event pooling so previously like let me explain previously in this uh, event object was like reused every time like if you are trying to do something with this event asynchronously like if you want to use this event asynchronously in terms of like set timeout or set interval then you may not get the exact event that you have raised earlier because because the thing is uh, this this is the common event object and that was used again and again and in react 17 it removes the event pooling optimization from react it does not improve the performance in modern browser confuses the every experience okay so yes like uh, event pooling is not there for uh, such kind of events so it's like pretty useful like i i personally faced this issue with react's previous version so it has been resolved now and the next thing is like effect cleanup timing so the thing is uh, like if you have if you guys have used the uh, use effect react hook then you must use like you have must use this like cleanup method uh, for your like component and mount thing so now this thing is asynchronous previously it was like synchronous but now this uh, component will unmount feature from this use effect will be asynchronous like it will not reflect synchronously so yes and for that they have mentioned some potential potential issue like if you are using some reference from this method inside this return then uh, you need to focus on this thing and there are like uh, some more uh, thing that consistent error of returning so this is the like uh, we have this is the thing that we have faced a lot of time like if i am rendering something and if uh, in any condition i don't want to render anything and if I return only like uh, this syntax, then it shows, or if we can say it throws an error that uh, undefined has all be uh, like has been returned, and that was an error earlier. But in React 17, you can simply uh, simply like uh, return this. So like it's it's like syntactical change, but uh, we are now like already like habitual of the returning some null kind of statement. I think that's that's it from this uh, from this react 17 version there are some native uh, changes so react has worked a lot under the hood to improve or we can say to resolve the issues that was that has been reported from the way uh, from the developers removing private export that is a uh, next thing and uh, like even uh, I was not using this private exports uh, so if you are uh, guys are uh, using private export then in react 17 these private exports has been removed okay and the next thing is all about installation so you can simply install react version 17 using this co these commands and you can go through this like uh, react gradual updates uh, repository on github so I think that's all that uh, React 17 is having. So I hope like uh, you are now clear with this new no new feature terminology from React and uh, the description link for this particular blog and this GitHub repository will be in the description box. So guys, if you got a like proper understanding of this React version 17, then make sure you hit the like button. And if you are new here or new to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video guys. Thank you very much.